Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining today. Um, it's that time of year, the trout are sipping in the surface film, taking flies in the film and off the surface. So the last few weeks we've had plenty of action um, with the dry fly. So today I'm going to tie uh, a dark olive top hat dry fly. Um, quite simple, um, very productive when they're sipping in the surface film. Um, if you check out the video we've just done a couple of weeks ago with Peter Rattleby, he demonstrates how to use the top hat um, and catch the fish when they're sipping. It's, uh, it's well worth a look. So we'll get on, I'll explain the materials as we go along. Um, the hook I've got in the vise is a size 16. It's a Bill McElroy's wet hook. Um, the thread I'm going to use is uh, Olive Uni 8O. So we'll, we'll start off, just put a little small base down. What we're going to do on this is tie in the, the bit that keeps the fly floating in the surface and it is a cylinder a um, high density foam cylinder three millimeters now what i've done i've just um took the uh, slight edge off it put a, a slant on it and this is what we're going to tie onto our shank so we'll take round the top and then i do it two or three just underneath and then you can then pull it down with a little tension on there so it bites in and then basically work the foam around the shank and then back up again this this also bites the foam in but it also creates a taper for the fly as well so just two jobs at once now what we're going to use um, for a rib is um, this here and it's a uni mylar and it's in a size 16 so I've got a bit here just tie it in and then down to where the barb would be but it's obviously a barbless hook so I'll stop approximately there now what I do now is put a little touch of varnish along there, spread along. And what we're going to use for the actual body is hairs here. Now this is hens, it's obviously a mixture, it's got all the different colours in. But what we're going to use the day is the, the dark olive one, it's number 16 on the on the on the rack so it, now it's quite fine it's nice and fine which is what i like about it so you can just dub it on and I, I don't like them too thick i like to keep them fairly fine um i know i've seen other people have thick lots of spiky but i, I catch a lot more fish with the thinner ones than i do with the with the thick ones so well Get that onto there. Take that away. And then we'll counter wrap this. This is the rib with a mile R. So dig it into the actual hair here. As you go along, even spaces all the way along. And the last one can be just under the top hat. Then we'll take that over the top, catch it in. That's it. And just snip that off. Now what I'll do now is we can cut the actual top hat part. You want about, I would say, a good third or maybe a bit more you can if you leave it on you know it's cut a bit off if you if you cut it too short then you haven't got an option so if in doubt um leave it a little bit longer see how it goes now all i need now is a tiny tiny touch 
just to cover that stuff on the thorax there. So we'll just put it another small bit on there. That'll do it. And then we'll finish it off. With a bit of varnish. Get it in behind the top part. Put it in tight. Now you see I don't like loads um, sticking out so if there's anything just if you're not happy just trim it away. Um, and there it is. Obviously it'll sit in the water like so just use your um, gink gink around the top of the top hat and it'll sit lovely in the surface film so get some tied up it's a very productive pattern and like i say check out um, the video on the youtube channel you see how deadly the top hat can be so if you like it please uh, tick the like button and subscribe to the channel thanks very much now cheers